Welcome to my journey of the Omaha Coupe. A 30 year journey for me to get this car in my possession, seen it in an alley in 1990, over there in the Field Club area, South Omaha, and uh, it's been pulling my heartstrings ever since. So my friend uh, Johnny has offered to come over here and help me tell the story, which I appreciate that. So basically I got some footage from when I went tonight, I went to buy the car. Um, we can show that on this film. It's two days after Thanksgiving, I'm with Eric Johnson. We're doing it again. Uh, got a 30 year dream coming to a head tonight. Uh, about an hour ago, I made a deal on a 33 Ford Coupe. And I got some footage of unloading it, stuff like that. My buddy Eric Johnson went with me and helped me get it purchased. So Eric has offered to go with me to pick it up, use his trailer, because he's awesome. So thank you, Eric, appreciate you. I got a lot of history I'm trying to track down this car. It was built into a hot rod like in 54, 55. Uh, they bought a stock 33 three window out of the Omaha World Herald paper. And uh, this got, kid moved from Southern California to hang out with this group of guys in South Omaha. And he built this car and they put an Oldsmobile motor in it, drag raced it, took it to Bonneville. Pretty exciting stuff. Uh, of course, I didn't know any of this until recently starting to put the pieces together and talking to some old timers. I knew it had some history in Omaha and it was a pretty well-known car as far as pictures went uh, on the internet. Uh, in the last 10 years or so, they started to surface. All right, so here we are. We got her all loaded up. Just came from the guy's house. 30 years. I'm waiting to get my hands on this thing. With social media, but up to that point, I just had this image in my mind of this car I saw in the alley in 1990 as a kid. And um, now I have it here in my shop, totally excited. The plan is to build the car into, uh, as it was like when it went to Bonneville in 57, or shortly thereafter, like 58, 59-ish. Dang excited to get it home. Gonna try to go back to the 57 photos from Bonneville to recreate it through its whole lifespan of a hot rod from like 54 to the late 60s. It always had Oldsmobile motors in it, best I could tell. At some point, the 33 chassis that was underneath it went away and they were actually, I just learned they were gonna put it on a dragster chassis. And then the guy that, uh, that I bought it from, an uh, associate of mine who actually bought it from the guy who had it for 50 years, had been from 1970 all the way to 2020. The guy had it and he was always gonna do something with it, never did it. A, an associate of mine, a buddy of mine, we kind of teamed up on it a little bit to get it purchased. It wasn't easy. It's been a long journey. I'm hoping uh, to share it with you. Uh, so come along with me. I got a lot. I'm going to build the car. I'm, I'm searching for an Oldsmobile motor right now. I'm talking to a local. A uh, hot rodder, 83 years old, who's got an Oldsmobile motor, an old hot rod motor. I think has the original transmission out of it, from what I understand. Uh, one of the original transmissions, of course, they broke many of the early Fords, but he's got a LaSalle tranny that was actually ran in it. So I'm excited to go over and look at that stuff, maybe this week. So yeah, I'm going to leave it in primer. I'm going to leave it just as like the patina it's running right now. I'm not going to paint it. I just want to get it going with old vintage tires, you know, non-cracked vintage tires. Some cool old vintage rims just Ford Steelys, just like they would have built it back in the day. I got a lot, ton of pictures of it from back in the day of when it was at Bonneville and when it raced the local drag strips. It's my understanding that it went to the 55 NHRA Nationals down in Great Bend, the very first one in one its class, I think. I'm still trying to piece that together. And I know the, the 56 opener in Kansas City, the very first inaugural race down there, inaugural race down there. I think it won its class there too, possibly. I'm still trying to figured out, learn the history. But uh, anyway, it's, it's known as the Omaha Coupe. It's known as locally as the Orange Crate. It was part of four different car clubs over the years. It started out in The Undertakers at, at George Rosen's shop down next to Dinkers for you folks from Omaha. And then it went to the Jack's Car Club, which is the pictures that we have from Bonneville of the car in 57 was part of the Jack's then and Howdy Williams owned it. And then uh, it was sold to a guy named Bill Hanna and that was like in 59, and he was part of the Omaha Rebels Car Club, which is pretty cool. And then uh, after that, it's my understanding, 
that it went to the Diablos Car Club. They kind of ran out of North Omaha. They had a shop up on 33rd Names. Anyway, I'm still pie piecing together the timeline. I'm trying to put all that together. So lots more information to come on this. A lot more build time in the shop. I got a couple different projects I'm working on here. Right next to the store is my dad's 32 chassis I'm working on. So I'll be picking up both of them and lots of stuff going on. So yeah, if this kind of stuff interests you, uh, come along on my journey. I'm pretty excited about it. So thanks for watching up to this point.